Okay, so I wanted to make a video on uh, what I learned about habitats for boas, enclosures for boas, um, from the Complete Boa Constrictor book by Vin Russo. Um, so what I have is a plastic tub um, with some drilled holes throughout. Um, I have... I should just take this out for a second. I have newspaper for substrate, a couple layers of it. You can see it's just a clear bin. Um, all of this stuff is, you know, I've used newspaper before, but I've also, you know, tried other things. And this is all stuff that he recommends. And if you ask me, Vin Russo kind of knows because um, he's an expert and I'm not. So here's a water dish. There's no water in it yet. We're actually getting this ready for a snake that should be on her way any minute. Uh, shipping snakes always gives me anxiety, but she should be on her way. I have a rock, nice pretty rock. I put it in there so that um, it doesn't tip over the water. Then we have all these fake leaves that we got from Exoterra. They were really cheap. I think we got like 15 feet of it for maybe, I don't know, like seriously $10, maybe $15. Um, then we got this log hide. It is open on both sides, but I've pushed one side up against the back and this... Uh, You'll see when I put it on the rack that um, there's really no, you can't see from the back, really. Um, and that's it. I mean, it gives them an area where they can either go under the leaves, they can um, go under the paper, they can, you know, do whatever they want. I think that this, to me, just adding the leaves and a more realistic hide um, is much more appealing even to myself, uh, the best thing I could do, since I already had these tubs, um, I'm not going to give them a larger one. They're actually pretty small snakes that are going to be in here. Um, the next best thing I could do would be to actually go up. And then I could put some branches. Anyway, I'll cut. The Oops. <laughs> Sadie dropped the shoe shoe. It's chewing on. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I think that this looks a lot better. One of the things this Jackie stay back trying to do this while filming and I don't know how well I'm going to do at it. So, let me see if I can do this. And there it is. So that's one down. So she is not interested. Jackie, absolutely not. She wants nothing to do with that mouse. And you know what? These mice are kind of gross. Oh, well, you can see. But we added a driftwood to Sabbath's cage. Tub, whatever. And she really likes it. And she's already on it. Just checking things out. Being a good snake. Here's Throne. Just took him out to clean his pen. Enclosure. He's really sweet. He's been really nice. Jackie got to hold him a little bit. He's exploring. He's really pretty. And I noticed during the nighttime, he gets up to where he is right now. And he'll sit with his body here and his head at the end. Kind of looking for his food. And then once it starts to become daytime, he kind of goes right to where he is right now and hides. But I think right now he's saying, oh, that was really fun being out. And now I want to stay out. So put his cover back on. Good cute. Over here, nice clean bedding. Mm, really pretty. So it's Monday morning. We're tired because I was up in the middle of the night with little Sadie. For Sabbath because she would not eat the frozen thawed hopper I gave her and I found out after I talked to Mike this because she eats live. So I don't really want to feed live. Um, I also don't really want to euthanize the mouse to give her. But I did see a tip online of rubbing 
the frozen thawed mouse in like some old bedding, like old mouse bedding. So I'm gonna go to the pet store and see if um, they'll hook me up with some nasty bedding. Um, tomorrow we're at the FedEx place. Um, I have to go pick up our uh, pair of boas and I'm not gonna give away what they are because I feel like that's really, they're really special, they're really cool. And um, I want to make another video of unboxing them. I am not going to have them delivered from St. Johnsbury. I'm actually going to go pick them up myself because I'm not risking um, that really aggressive guy uh, coming here again. So, um, what else? Hi, Sadie. You like to call her Baby D? <laughs> Baby D. Alright, anyway, I'm just being a weirdo. Um, uh, yeah, that's it, I guess. Updates later.